What is up, boys? Uh, we are back here with some Infinite Forbidden Retail boxes. I have four of these bad boys. I think these are exclusive to Walmart. At least that's what I've heard. Haven't seen it anywhere else, so I'm, I'm assuming that is correct. You get four of the blisters, and then you get one token. So they, it is similar to the Legacy of Destruction. Actually, it's exactly like the Legacy of Destruction Special Edition that we got, except, you know, different tokens this time. This time around, we got Akiza, it looks like. Chaz it up. Okay, okay, of course, we're going to put another fucking Yugi token there, and then, I don't know, the other two. It, maybe Gimmick, the Gimmick Puppet Dude, because there's some Gimmick Puppets in here. But, uh, personally... I want the Akiza. I'm going to go for the waifu because, I mean, Akiza is actually kind of hot. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and open these up, guys, and see what we can do. I think it is possible to pull QCRs from these boxes. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. It's still going to be hard, guys. It's still going to be hard. And I st still do plan on buying blisters. So it's not just going to be these boxes. But, uh, you know, I still want I want to I want to see what uh, tokens I can get, essentially. But uh, I have no yeah, no idea who this is. Varus and Borrow Load Dragon card can be used. OK, so his name is Varus. There we go. Isn't that a vision hero? They're taking our names. They took they're taking our dang names here. From the uh, heroes. All right. So, yeah. Four blisters. Let's see what we can do here, guys. Oh, man. I haven't opened up any blisters. Very hard to find in my area. So, uh, Fiend Smith Saint, Me Me Meteoria, Drytron, Beaten Bat, Fiend Smith Sequence, and then a uh, Super Rare, Super Spell Card, Soul Exchange. Not the best pull there. The other card, Spell Card Monster Reborn. Actually has been seeing some buyouts. Uh, it is akin to Called by the Grave, but I don't think it works exactly like Called by the Grave. So I'm kind of staying away from that one. Uh, Service Puppet Play, Medolce Dessert, and then a Heretic, Phobos, Kobos, the Chad. I love that name, man. Phobos, Kobos. So, yes, uh, you're in this set, you have Secret Rares, you have Ultra Rares, you got Super Rares, which took place of the Rares. And of course, what we're aiming for, QCRs. So, Mimigool Maker, all right. And I have had some luck in these Legacy of Destruction, or I should say, in the Legacy of Destruction Special Edition boxes. Uh, I did pull, you know, some some decent pulls. So we'll see if these uh, treat me about the same. We got a depressed part. Well, there we go. Uh, El Elzet the White Forest Secret Rare. I don't remember if this is the $20 Secret Rare or the $30 Secret Rare, but uh, I mean, either way, I paid for the box. That is awesome, man. That's what I love to see. All right, so I did buy four boxes. I don't know, I don't know if I even mentioned that, but uh, this is the second box here. Come on, Akiza token. I don't know which one is the most expensive. I'm assuming it's going to be the Yugi token. Um, okay, we got the same one. Who is... Th is it really Varus? This Varus and Borolo Dragon. So it has to be. Although the name isn't Varus and Borolo uh, Dragon. So that's kind of... Actually, you know what? The plastic they're using here is al also kind of weird. Like, it feels better quality. That's so odd. Anyways, okay. So, you know you're opening up a lot of packs when you notice the quality change of plastic. Oh, man. Okay. DPH, Gandamore. We got Paralyzing Mushroom, Rusia of the White Forest, uh, Aerial Eater, and then Beware of the White Forest. A lot of White Forest cards are going to be, be, be uh, pulled in here. Although, come on, man. We need the the fabled $100 Secret Rare uh, in this set. Come on. Cosmo, Queen of the... Cosmo, Queen, the Queen of Prayers. A lot of queens in there. Pete Smith, La Serima. Uh, Fiend, Fiend Smith Paradise, and then Guardian of the Voiceless Voice. Oh man, Voice uh, Fiend Smith, I should say. We need that freaking hundred hundred dollar secret rare. I feel like I'm not gonna pull it, by the way, guys. Now that I'm, you know, hoping for it, but uh, let's see. Fiend Smith uh, Desiree, really dark name there, kind of hard to read. A lot of new Drytrons too. It seems like there's a, at least three new Drytron cards. Uh, probably not going to do anything for the archetype, but uh, it's still nice to see, I guess. Uh, me, Toria, I mean, speaking of right there, Drytron. And then a CXC's gimmick puppet, 
Fantastic Machinix. So nothing high rarity in that one, unfortunately. But we cannot win them all. Uh, it just kind of sucks that we got the same token, you know. I, I feel like I'm more disappointed in that regard than pulling crap. Uh, anyway, so third box here. Let's see what our token is. It is, oh yeah, there we go. Chaz it up. That is awesome. It actually does say Chaz it up in there as well in the uh, the token. So uh, this Chaz token, blah, 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 and then it says Chaz it up. Does the other one have a quote as well? Yeah, that's cool. Cool. All right, so uh, let's see what we can do in these four. We need the dang fiends. With I forgot his name too. I'm trying to avoid his name, but uh, come on, man. Aerial Eater. We got Reflection of the Millennium. And uh, Drytron, Metonius, Da, Draconids. Really weird name. That one's really dark, too. That doesn't even look like a ritual monster, man. They really... They did something different with the set, it feels like. that's. I mean, that's not the lighting, guys. It is really dark. Um, it almost looks like a fusion card. It's that dark. Ritual monster, or Link, I should say. Not, 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 not fusion, it's not purple, but it's... You know, original monsters are supposed to be a little bit lighter blue. That ain't light blue. Gimmick Puppet, Fantastic, Machinix, and then... See, that's way closer. Way closer to the Link. Uh, for sure. I'm not tripping, guys. I ain't tripping here. All right. So, let's see. Fiend Smith's uh, Synced. Sleepy, Cosmo Queen, DPH, and a uh, Tenpai Dragon... Gen Roku. I think this, unless the price went down, it is $10, so it ain't bad. I mean, yeah, it ain't bad. Although I feel like the pull rates on these boxes are a little bit lower than the Legacy of Destruction, but uh, I might have to compare. If I find some Legacy of Destruction boxes, I might pick them up, guys. Fiend Smith in Paradise, super rare. All right, so see, I don't know. I feel like this is a little bit low. I feel like I got. Luckier in Legacy of Destruction for sure. Might have to look at my past uh, openings for that one, though. All right, boys, last box here. What is the token? The token is, I think it's the same dude. Quattro, is that his name? I mean, they look the same dude. I don't even know if it's the real, the same person. You guys let me know. But uh, yeah, Quattro and Boris. I'm going with what, what is given to me, the information I got. I'm assuming that's their names. Um, DPH, Common, uh, Dress Pard, Dolce, Dessert, another Drytron. Oh, there we go. That's the, I think this is the $30 secret rare then. I'm good with faces, not necessarily names, guys. I'm pretty sure that's the $30 one. So, I mean, we are pulling decent value. It's just really hard to pull higher rarity stuff. Which is kind of interesting. I might, you know, boxes might have more value than uh, compared to blisters. But I might do a comparison. Uh, Rusia, we got Aerial Eater. And then Obliterate Blaze Super Rare. I will also say this. I, I have pulled more uh, QCRs from blisters. Although there is more references for that because I've opened up more blisters. So, hmm. Might also do a comparison on that. The League of Uniform Nor Norman Culture. Herit Heretical Phobos Covos, the Chad again. All right, and then the last pack here, guys. Oh, man. I, I could have sworn I saw someone pull a QCR from these boxes, but maybe it's just not possible. Uh, Sleepy, Cosmo Queen, and okay, two, one, um, what's it called? One secret and one ultra rare in a box. Decent value, actually. Light and Darkness. Dragon Lord, not the best ultra rare, but I mean that's actually one of my personal favorites. So uh, it's like it's like you bell man. I'm gonna get the play mat too. Uh, there's supposed to be like a, a, a YCS play mat or OTS play mat. I'm gonna get it because that guy looks dope. Anyways, that is the haul, guys. I mean it's decent, but we could have done better. But I'm still happy nonetheless. Catch you guys in the next one.